What's going on YouTube? Just now right here. So in today's video, we're talking about something very important for the jailbreak community. And that is the fact that iOS 14 has been jailbroken. And of course, the jailbreak has been achieved by Pengu. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software WhatsApp Business Transfer, which allows you to transfer your WhatsApp or WhatsApp business conversations from your iPhone to your Android and vice versa. Check it out in the link below. So you probably remember Pengu if you are a veteran jailbreaker, but if you're not and you joined the jailbreak community after iOS iOS 10, then probably this is not a very common name for you. However, the Pengu team was a very big jailbreak team back in the days. They did the first iOS 7.1.2 untethered jailbreak, as far as I remember. And of course, they also did the iOS 8.0 to 8.1 and 9.0 to 9.1. And now, of course, the 9.2 and 9.3.3. So for a couple of years, they were actually pretty active in the community and they're still active as security researchers. And they, of course, also organized the Mosec or Mobile Security Conference every year and of course this year was on 24th of July so just two days ago and we finally have all the results of what happened and stuff like that and boy were they active they actually completely demonstrated a new jailbreak mean spark Zeng posted this in here it's basically a photo of Pengu demonstrating on the scene what they seem to have in here as an iOS 14 jailbreak running on an iPhone 11 Pro now this is a 13 device it's not an a12 it's not an a11 or a10 or whatever so so it's basically not supported by CheckRain, which means that whatever they did in here is actually a TFP0 kernel exploit running and of course hacking the device, which is actually quite impressive. Now it's not the first time we hear about a jailbreak for the iOS 14 beta. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, Danny L posted quote, just like the good old days, it's good to be back on track. There's still work to be done, so please bear with us and be patient. The ATA is always when. Brought to you by the CheckRain team, powered by Checkmate. And he posted this picture in here which is basically the iOS 14. You can recognize it by the app library and of course it has in here the Cydia icon alongside with the CheckRain icon. So basically the CheckRain jailbreak team have been trying to create a jailbreak for iOS 14 for a while now and they're probably even successful but they're doing various tests and this is nothing new. The uncovered jailbreak hasn't been updated yet for the iOS 14 because there's no exploit available. We would basically need the one that Pangu presented at Mosaic, this one in here, in order to update the uncover. But the fact that they managed to actually get their own exploit for the A13 devices, which are currently the latest iOS devices, the iPhone 11 Pro basically. And this is on iOS 14, which is not even out of beta at this point. This is actually quite good. Now, we shouldn't expect a release just yet. And the reason we shouldn't expect a release is because Pangu hasn't actually released a jailbreak in very, very long time. What they do nowadays is security conferences and security research. They find bugs, send them to the vulnerable company, and of course get the bug bounty and stuff like that. This is what they do nowadays. They have to earn their money somehow and they are working as full-time security researchers. But developing free jailbreaks is not in their agenda anymore. So even though they did manage to create a jailbreak in here, which even has a UI, if you remember this, it's actually a UI that has been used a lot by Pengu in the past, especially for demos. But even then, they are probably not going to release this jailbreak and probably it doesn't even contain Cydia since it's not intended for general use, but rather for a demonstration purpose. Now, this is probably part of a bigger presentation on iOS 14 vulnerabilities and stuff like that, but unfortunately I couldn't find any video from the Mosaic 2020, so I guess we do not know what happened. I actually waited two days to see if they would publish the slides from the presentation and I would have loved to actually cover them here on the channel, but they didn't. They didn't post anything, at least not for the moment. So yeah, all we have is this picture in here taken from the stage, which is basically the jailbreak being demonstrated by the Pangu team. And we do know that Min Spark Zeng is actually a trustworthy person and of course he is a trustworthy security researcher so we do know that Pango did indeed achieve a jailbreak for the iOS 14 but it's likely not going to get released anytime soon however it's still cool that they did manage to do it anyways your best bet would be to wait for the uncovered jailbreak to be updated in the future but we do need a TFP0 kernel exploit before that can happen and I wouldn't see that being the case anytime soon unless of course somebody releases a zero day so if you're running 13.5 or lower do definitely stay where you are. But speaking of Uncovered, they also got an update. It says in here Uncover 5.3.0 is now available and the changes include adding jailbreak support for the iPhone 5s, 6 and iPad Air 1 models running the latest available version of iOS 12.4.8 with high exploit reliability. And then of course they pushed another update to fix some leftover files. And this was back on July 23, so two days ago. Not a huge update, but it does add support for older devices on a newer iOS. So this is actually quite good. 
could get it if you have an older device. But yeah, definitely cool what Pengu managed to achieve. Man, I actually missed the Pengu jailbreaks. They were actually built like a tank. They were very, very sturdy and of course they were untethered, most of them. Now, don't get me wrong, we do have good jailbreaks nowadays, but it's that nostalgia that kicks in once in a while. So, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow and till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.